नमस्कार वेलकम टू इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट्स वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन डेटेड 31 अक्टूबर 2024 इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द पास्ट सेवन डेज ऑब्जर्वड वेदर एंड अबाउट द वेदर दैट वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स If you are talking about the last uh, seven days uh, weather, the major synoptic system, which was the uh, severe cyclonic storm Dana. First, let's look into the life history of this severe cyclonic storm. So, in this graphics provided, we can see uh, we have provided the track of the cyclo severe cyclonic storm Dana with its intensity. So, on 19th October morning, cyclonic circulation was seen over the Central Andaman Sea. and later in the 21st morning it uh, laid over the north andaman sea under its influence a low pressure area has formed over east central bay of bengal and adjoining north andaman sea in the morning of 21st october later it concentrated into a well marked low pressure area over east central bay of bengal in the noon of 21st october further it intensified into a depression over east central bay of bengal in the early morning of 22nd october it moved north east northwestwards and intensified into a deep depression over east central bay of bengal in the same evening and continuing to move further northwestwards it intensified into a cyclonic storm dana over east central bay of bengal in the early morning of 23rd october it then moved north northwestward and intensified into a severe cyclonic storm over central and adjoining northwest bay of bengal in the midnight of 23rd october continuing to move north northwestward it crossed the north odisha coast close to habalikati natural camp and dhamara during 130 hours ist to 330 hours ist of 25th 25th october as a severe cyclonic storm with a wind speed of 100 to 110 gusting to 120 kmph the landfall process commenced in the midnight of uh, 24th october and it continued for 9 hours till morning of around 8:30 up to 8:30 of uh, 25th october continuing to move further north northwestward it weakened into a cyclonic storm over north coast of odisha in the forenoon or uh, forenoon then into a deep depression in the afternoon and into a depression over interior odisha in the evening of 25th october Now let's look into the weather observed in associated with the Dana cyclone. First let's discuss about the rainfall. So widespread rainfall occurred over North Odisha districts with a heavy to very heavy rainfall at a few places over uh, Bhadrak, Kendrapara and uh, Jagdishpur districts of North Coastal Odisha. Heavy rainfall at isolated places over uh, East and West Medinipur districts of West Bengal and heavy rainfall at isolated places over uh, Singhbhum district of Jharkhand on 25th October. Heavy to very heavy rainfall occurred at a few places with uh, isolated extremely heavy rainfall that is rainfall greater than 21 cm over North Odisha and Gangetic West Bengal on 26th October. That is the remnant of this uh, severe cyclonic storm Dana produced uh, uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall with isolated extremely heavy rainfall. So coming to the uh, realized uh, wind. So at the time of landfall the estimated maximum sustainable wind sustained wind speed was about 100 to 110 km per hour gusting to 120 km per hour over kendrapara and bhadrak district of odisha coming to the storm surge so the maximum estimated storm surge of height 1 to 2 meter in and around low lying area of kendrapara and bhadrak district of odisha during landfall now you can see the um, uh, animation of uh, uh, cyclonic storm dana which is captured from inside 3d r satellite so you can clearly see the how the uh, land uh, cloud mass is moving along the uh, track of the cy severe cyclonic storm dana and it produces landfall over uh, north odisha coast imd can proudly say that imd's prediction of this uh, severe cyclonic sa storm dana was a uh, successful in terms of its track and intensity and also about about the landfall point so coming to the uh, observed rainfall during uh, past 7 uh, days in the uh, graphics you can clearly see that uh, the heavy to very heavy rainfall with extremely heavy rainfall can uh, is observed over the uh, north odisha and that west bengal coast this is associated with the severe cyclonic storm dana and the heavy to very heavy rainfall is observed over the extreme south peninsular india
So the major rainfall reported was on 24th October, Kerala Mahi Idamalayar of uh, Ernakulam district reported 12 cm and uh, Tamil Nadu uh, Kelavara Palli Dam is reported 12 cm rainfall. On 25th October, Odisha Chandbali and uh, Rajkaniga has reported 16 cm each. On 26th October, or Opara of uh, uh, Balasur has reported 24 cm rainfall. On 27th October, Pyramid of Kerala, that is in Iduki, has reported 13 cm rainfall. On 28th October, uh, Coastal Andhra Pradesh, that is uh, uh, Paravatipuram, uh, reported 12 cm rainfall. On 29th October, uh, Banarna Banpal of Angur reported 10, 10 cm rainfall. And uh, on 30th October, Gunpur of Odisha has reported 7 cm rainfall. So now let's look into the uh, rainfall observed rainfall in meteorological subdivision wise first let's look into the weekly that is during last past seven days in this map in this graph is you can clearly see that the eastern met subdivisions has ha, has uh, excess rainfall that is associated with the uh, severe cyclonic of dana and over other regions it is uh, 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 deficient or large deficient so we can say that uh, the northeast monsoon was weak over uh, india during past uh, seven days and our northeastern states um, uh, the rainfall is uh, clear, uh, uh, nearly normal if you talk about the um, all india rainfall amount so an actual of 9.5 uh, millimeter rainfall against a normal of 10.9 centimeter was reported with a departure of 13 percentage so coming to the uh, uh, season wise that is from october 1 to 30th october our west coast regions like starting from gujarat to kerala uh, all the mid subdivisions is showing uh, normal or excess rainfall and our northern regions and uh, gangetic uh, mid of our Gangetic Plains has a large deficient and our uh, Rajasthan, Odisha and um, uh, West MP uh, and uh, NMMT met subdivisions is having a large deficient rainfall. If we talk about the country as a whole, so uh, actual rainfall of 74.4 millimeter rainfall was reported against a normal of 74.1 with a departure of 0 percentage. Now let's look into the temperature uh, observation during past 7 days. First let's look into the realized the minimum temperature departure maps so in this map let's look into the first half of the week so we can clearly see that over the northwest india and parts of central india uh, the minimum temperature is above normal by three to four degrees celsius and our southern peninsular india it is uh, close to normal and in the second half of the week the minimum temperature departure is increased to uh, four to seven degrees celsius mainly over uh, central india northwest india east india and also over southern Peninsula India and coming to the maximum temperature departure over the north northwest India and north northern state northern mid subdivisions the minimum temperature is up to three to uh, four degrees Celsius in the first half of the week later it is increased to uh, 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 4 to 7 degrees Celsius over Northwest India and the central parts of India it is uh, up to 3 degrees Celsius. So coming to the extended range forecast for next two weeks. So the Northeast monsoon likely to be continue uh, as remain normal to below normal over Southern Peninsula India during uh, week one with a significant improvement of the rainfall during week two. During week two it is likely to be normal to above normal rainfall over the same area. So a cyclonic circulation likely to form over central parts of South, West, South Bay of Bengal around 5th November and move to interior parts of the uh, Tamil Nadu across coastal Tamil Nadu um, during uh, 5th to 11th November. So under its influence, a fresh spell of isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall likely over Tamil Nadu, Rail Sima and Kerala during week 2 that is between 9 to 11 November. So coming to the uh, temperature forecast for next two weeks. So in the week 1, the maximum temperature likely to be above normal over Northwest India, East India and Northeast India. And during week 2, also it is above, likely to be above normal over northwest india east india and northeast india and over central india it is likely to be below normal so we can say that the temperature likely to continue to remain above normal over many parts of northwest india central and eastern india during week one with a slight fall during week two so coming to the minimum temperature 
So the minimum temperature likely to be above normal over Northwest India, Central India, East India and Northeast India in week 1 and also in week 2 minimum temperature is likely to be above normal over Northwest India, East India and uh, Northeast India. Here also we can say that temperature likely to be continue remain above normal over many parts of Northwest, Central and Eastern India during week 1 uh, with a slight fall during week 2. So coming to the extended range outlook for cyclogenesis over Indian Ocean. So there is a likelihood formation of of a trough of low over south bay of bengal during week one with a formation of low pressure area of southwest bay of bengal towards the end of the week one there is also a low probability of its intensification into a depression over southwest bay of bengal of tamil nadu coast during first half of the week two so we can say that there is a low probability of uh, uh, cyclogenesis over southwest bay of bengal in the week two so thanks for watching this video we will come next week with uh, uh, latest uh, updates and warnings. Till then, Namaskar.